Here on the Walking Mountains campus, we can find a variety of energy sources. Some are renewable and some are non-renewable. We're going to go explore and see what we can find. But first, let's review what those two words mean. A renewable energy source is a source of energy that can replenish itself in a relatively short period of time and will not run out. A non-renewable energy source is a source of energy that exists in a certain amount and is unable to replenish itself. This type of source will eventually run out. Let's see what we can find here. Walking Mountains uses solar panels to harness the light energy put out by the sun. This light energy is then converted to energy used to power the building. But that might be an issue sometimes if it's a cloudy or stormy day and the sun's light is blocked. And what about nighttime? No energy is being produced by the solar panels when there is no sunlight. Where could the energy come from then? When there isn't enough energy produced to run the Walking Mountains campus from the solar panels, we use natural gas. This is a fossil fuel and a form of non-renewable energy. The earth has a limited source of fossil fuels like natural gas, which is why it is helpful to supplement with solar energy. Look at this graph. You can see that much more natural gas is used during the winter months when the days are shorter and there are more storms, which means less sunlight. During the summer months of May through September, much less natural gas is used. These charts and graphs are found in the Walking Mountain Science Center Museum. We use a program that tracks the amount of energy our campus uses and where the energy is coming from, whether that's from a renewable resource like the sun using solar panels or from a non-renewable resource like natural gas. These tend to change depending on the time of year and how much sunlight is available. The alignment of our buildings also helps reduce the amount of energy needed to heat the building. With large southern facing windows like these, the sun's light and heat comes through to warm the building and also provide natural light so less energy goes into lighting our buildings. Looking at and studying these graphs allows us to see how much we must supplement our solar energy production with fossil fuels like natural gas to power our campus. We can see that some months we must use more natural gas than others depending on how much sunlight was available. Why would it be important to know this? Well, there are advantages and disadvantages to using fossil fuels. Let's talk about them. What are some advantages of using fossil fuels like coal, oil, or natural gas? Fossil fuels are convenient to use because they generate a lot of energy and are relatively cheap. What might be some disadvantages of using fossil fuels? They are harmful to the environment in that they pollute both the water and the air. They are also dangerous to obtain. Fossil fuels are found in the earth and mined for use. Mining can be a very hazardous job. What energy sources can you find around your home? 